And welcome to Lift FM 98.5, 103.3 FM, and 97.9 on your FM radio dial. Worldwide as well at Advantage Radio Ministries.org. That is Advantage Radio Ministries.org. We have many, many of our second chance programs. I would say probably about 85% of them we do have archived on our website by clicking on Second Chances. And there, there will literally be several hundred, or pretty close to it if I'm not mistaken, uh, guests that each and every one has a unique experience uh, through their their walk with the Lord and uh, interesting stories of what they're doing and how they got there. And we are privileged to have with us today Audrey Dorsett. She is the author of the book of Starting My Day with Him. And Audrey, thank you so much for being with us here on Second Chances. Thank you so much, Greg, for having me here. Yes, many things that uh, I'm sure you want to share with us, but as I generally like to do, I love to learn about our guests from the point that they were born and and raised and and what kind of home they came from and things like that. So could you kind of give us a little information about yourself that way? Okay. I was born in the Commonwealth of Dominica in the West Indies. Um, I have one sister. I grew up in the Commonwealth of Dominica. Mm -hmm. That's where I went to school. I did my nursing training there, and I married there. And and I'm sorry, the common, you you mentioned the common, I'm sorry, I couldn't understand, the Commonwealth of? Dominica. Okay, and where is that located? The island, the Commonwealth of Dominica is located in the West. There is a little chain of islands starting oh. from Jamaica to Puerto Rico. We call that the West Indies. And in that chain of islands, you have um, St. Lucia, Grenada, um, Dominica, Puerto Rico, ah. Guadeloupe, all of those little islands. So that's where I was born, and that's where I'm from. Mm. Now, as, as a young, as a young uh, girl growing up, were you a Christian? Was your family a Christian? Was was Jesus known in your home? Yes. Um, I grew up in the Roman Catholic faith. My mother was a Roman Catholic. My grandmother a Roman Catholic. We um, They taught us about the Lord, to love the Lord. Of course, we were taught to pray every night, pray before meals, pray in the morning. Um, we attended church every Sunday. Um, the So... You know, we grew up that way. I grew up that way. We were required to go to confession on a weekly basis and receive communion every Sunday. That was part of the Catholic tradition. Mm. And um, I would say, I would love to say I was a Christian then. I I, I would say that. However, um, my relationship with him, knowing him, and the way that I do now was not there at that time. I did not have that kind of relationship that I now have with him. Mm. Now, I'm looking at your notes here. Uh, you sent me a little thing about you, and I love what this says, and, and if it's okay with you, I'd like to just read this on the air. It says, Audrey G. Dorset is a Christian. She believes in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Audrey believes Christ died for her, and he took uh, out of the pit of sin and death. He redeemed uh, her and led her to righteousness. Audrey loves the Lord, and her desire is to serve him in all she does and tell others about Christ's love and help them experience the love through life's journey by reaching out to others. And then it goes on to say that you are a master prepared registered nurse, with a track on education, education, and you work full time as a public health nurse. Um, talk to us about a little bit about your your nursing and how that came to be. You became a nurse. Well, my nursing, my desire to become to become a nurse actually started when I was about the age of thirteen. Um, my mom, she had quite a few friends that were nurses, and um, the things they would do on on their day off, because nurses usually get days off during the week, they 
would come to our home because we grew, my house was on the, close to the beach, and they would come to spend their day off with my mom, and they would have a good time enjoying the sea, swimming and things like that. So I said, I remember saying to my, oh, that's a nice way to leave, you know, have a day off and come and, you know, enjoy the beach. So this is how I looked at it at first, you know, that part of it. But then as I grew older, I realized there was more to it than that, the part of caring for people, taking care of people, helping people get better when they're sick. And that's what I developed, and this is what I loved about nursing. So I have been a nurse for over 30 years now. I um, have worked in practically all of the areas of nursing. I did my nursing education in the Commonwealth of Dominica. I graduated there as a general nurse um, and also in midwifery. I was a midwife. I delivered the babies both in the hospital and in the community. Um, when we migrated to the United States, States over 30 years ago, I went to pursue my education and did my bachelor's of science degree in nursing. And later, I went to do my bachelor my bachelor's degree in nursing. At first, I did community health, and then I did nursing, and then finally, I did my master's degree because I I I, I love nursing so much that I really felt that. I had a lot to give in these two areas, to talk about the Lord, to share my love for the Lord and how the Lord, ha the Lord has worked in my life, and, of course, my other passion, which is caring for people. So I decided to go into, do my master's degree with a track in education, meaning I could be able to teach others, get into nursing, to love nursing, to practice nursing. And that's what I'm doing. The fact that you are comfortable teaching because of that uh, track on nursing uh, education, has that helped you uh, in, in your life with the uh, uh, ministry that you have uh, with your husband, Bevan? Yes. Yes, it does. What What is the name of that ministry for uh, people that do not know? Um, it's, um, it's Zane Ministries. Zane Ministries, it's a... Uh, Women's ministry that um, we founded together, and um, again, it's really to designed to help women, help of course both um, help them in terms of their spiritual development, their physical development, mental development, also in the community to share the Lord with them wherever we can, physically, emotionally. Now, now tell me, uh, tell me uh, how. It came to be that you decided to uh, move to the United States. How did that come about? Well, my first, my main purpose, of course, was to further my education. That, that was the key, to move from the Commonwealth of Dominica to come to the United States to further my education. Because I, I, I was a nurse, but of course there was no bachelor's of program in this in down in the corner of Dominica at, the, at that time. So in order for me to get my degree in nursing, I had to relocate. That was a choice I made. And uh, that was what, did you say, 30 years ago? Over 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, your ministry, uh, as you mentioned, uh, how long has that been in existence? Um, just a little under a right year, mm -hmm. very young. Now, um, you also mentioned that you love to garden, write, and read. Gardening. Yeah, gardening. Yeah. Uh, knowing that, um, this this book that you have out entitled Starting My Day With Him, is this the first time that you've ever uh, written a book to be published? Yes. This is the first book I wrote to be published. However, I started writing. I always had the desire to write. Because, uh, again, I, I felt the Lord has been so good to me. I really wanted to, you know, tell people about him in some way, some form of fashion. And I always felt that I could write. And the more I developed my skills in nursing in terms of writing procedures and policies, because I, 
I climbed the ladder in this thing up to the top as far as um, um, administration is concerned. So I formulated policies, I formulated um, procedures, I was, you know, doing all these leadership activities. So I felt comfortable writing. So I wanted to write a book for many years ago. I started about three books. The first one I thought I was about to write was I started the title All Because of Love, and that was my life and how God has worked in my life. But that didn't go anywhere. <laughs> it stopped. I couldn't get anything to say about it. I just Then I started another one because my husband had a stroke a couple years ago. I said, well, you know, I'm pretty sure I should be able to write how God helped me deal with that and also how I'm dealing with that as a nurse. I started that. It did not go very far. So I started wondering, well, look, Lord, I know you want, I know you want me to write, and I'm trying. But it seems like everything I try, it's not going anywhere. What is it you really want me to write about? And I really started focusing on that and praying about that. And I, I, you know, reading my scriptures, and one day I saw the scripture in the Bible, of course, you know, that I can publish about your ways. And I said, I, this verse here is really for me <laughs> because I need to be able to publish and to tell others how good God is. And I kept praying and praying on what it is you want me to write. And um, oh, one morning, just as I was doing my devotion, it just came out of the blue. Well, Audrey, how about the different things that you encounter on a daily basis? And how do you deal with it? Now, the way I dealt with the things I encountered, because being in leadership, there are a lot of things that you encounter. You hear the people are talking, you hear gossip, you hear good things, you hear bad things, some you have control over, some you have no control over. And then I would come home and lay it out on the Lord, find them in the scriptures, and find comfort and solace in there to be able to be strengthened to go back the next day. So the Lord said, well, how about just writing about that? And this is how it came about that I chose to write about all of these different, um, I call them obstacles. And um, the reason I call them obstacles is really because when these things happen in your life, it, it limits that intimacy you have with God. You know, it, it creates a barrier for the intimacy you have with God. You wake up in the morning and you're feeling all really and happy and cheerful and ready to go to work and then bam, something happens that you have no control over. And then you just feel all over again unhappy, you feel sad, you do not trust anybody anymore and you, 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 you've lost your zeal for what it is you have loved. And how do you get that back? And the way I found it back every day was coming to the Bible, coming to the Scriptures. So the Lord said to me, write about that. And um, that's what I did. That's what I did. Well, there's no doubt about it, Audrey. You do have a, a passion. It even says here on your notes that I am a Christian, and I love sharing Christ and enjoy serving Him. Um, we're, we're visiting with uh, Audrey Dorset. She is the author of the book, Starting My Day with Him. And, uh, Audrey, we're going to obviously continue this interview, but I just wanted to take a moment to find out if someone would like to obtain a copy of this book uh, or learn more about uh, you or uh, Zane Ministries. How can one do so? Okay, I have a website, which is called ayudua.com. It's A-Y-E-R-D-U-A. Dot com www.ayudua.com um, I have the book on my website. I also have it um, on eBay. It's also on Amazon.com. 
It's at barnesandnobles.com. And, of course, it's published by Ex Libras. So you can also get it on Ex Libras. And could you read this that uh, website one more time? I want to jot that down. It's www.ayurdua.com. Spell that for us. A A Y A as in apple, Y as in yucca, um, A U A U A Y Y as in yucca. U as in umbrella, D as in David, Y E R, a Yudua. Dot com. A Y U D Y E R dot com. Dot com. Okay. Uh, let's get back to the book for a minute. Um, someone opens up starting my day with him. What would you, what could you tell us about the book? Okay, the book is designed, it's very simple. I start the book by, of course, praising, of course, it, I also wrote it in memory of my mom and my dad, my sister and my kids. I'm in honor of them. And um, it, the introduction tells them about the book, or who I am, of course, what the book is all about. I start by saying good morning, my father praising God for waking me up, praising him for another day, thanking him for watching over me during the night. And anybody who's reading that book, that's what they would find. I thank him for, for today and a day that he has made especially for me. I thank him for the grace that he has given me for today, for the joy, the peace that is surrounding me for today, for the obstacles that I will encounter and he will for today. I thank him for his presence in my life, for my employer, for my job, and all those that I work with. I thank him for the plans he has for me today. I thank him for his traveling mercies and the message that he's going to give to me through his word. I ask him to shine me, shine around me, shine in me, shine through me. And let me be a shining light to everybody that I meet today. And um, continues with the different, some are obstacles, some are barriers, of course, and some are encouragement. And uh, I have them listed, belief. If you, when you open it, it will tell you, of course, where we find belief in the Bible, what it means. For example, um, when the Bible verse that I picked, the key verse, is from Matthew 9:28. When he had gone indoors, the blind man came to him, and he asked them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? When he had the blind man see. And there is a reflection after that lesson, and a prayer at the bottom of the lesson. And of course, on the opposite side, it's the context of the whole scripture. So in the event someone is picking up this book, or they, something, you know, weary in their lives or whatever, they can pick this book up, look up, believe. What does the Bible say about believe? What does God say about believe? They might not have a Bible, or it might be too big for them to carry around, or too much to search for. They have it right in front of them, the whole context. And I'm hoping that this will encourage them. And this is just one of the encouragements in there. Faith is another one, another encouragement. The how we will deal with temptation is another one. These are the obstacles, the trials and temptations we face. Gossip, covetousness, falsehood, death, conflict, um, anger. We're visiting with Doctor. Yes. We're visiting with uh, Audrey Dorset. She's the author of the book "Starting My Day with Him." Uh, Audrey, <clears throat> the fact is that this is the first time you were able to get a, a book. Uh, you you wrote a book and got it published. Tell us about the process of getting it published. Was it difficult? Well, it was difficult in the sense I had no funds. <laughs> I had no idea that it was such an expensive thing. I thought, well, I just wrote the book, and then uh, somebody would publish it for me. 
that's what I thought. And um, however, for some unknown reason, I was getting a lot of, um, I would say, invitations from publishers asking me to send my manuscripts. And so, of course, I would follow that up. And that's how I discovered that these things, were, it was a very expensive um, activity, somewhere in the anywhere like $6,000 to self-publish, $5,000. I really couldn't afford that. So that was the difficulty I faced. Until one day, I got a call from an agency, which was Ex Libras, telling me, well, of course, we could, do you have a manuscript? Yes, of course, um, we could publish it for you. Yes, and this is how, you know, I said, well, I can't afford to, to do that. Well, we will do it this way, this way. So they gave me a, a complete breakdown. That it was the cheapest one that I found. And, of course, I could do it um, paid by installment, step by step. So again, I, I was really convinced that the Lord wanted me to do this, and this is how I got it published. Mm. Do you have a desire to do a, an additional book uh, beyond this first one? Oh yes, I'm already in the process of writing another one. Give us a little hint yes. about what that's about. Okay, well, the one that I'm writing right now, I entitled, I entitled it Becoming a Servant of God. And um, I list the different steps that one has to go through to be comfortable in serving God. Of course, prayer, sacrifice, um, meditation, reading your Bible, you have to be able to um, develop that relationship with God that way. You have to come to know Him, who He is, before you can want to serve Him. You have to be able, of course, to... Be, if you are a wife, you need to be a, a loving wife, a kind wife, taking care of your husband at home. You have to know what the Bible says about being a wife. You have to know what the Bible says about being a mother. So I have all of these um, different, um, what I would say, steps that's leading to that. Um, how you are in your church. Um, do you go to church at all? Do you worship God? How do you worship Him? Do you not go when you want to go? Are you active in your church? Not that it's so much part of a requirement, but if you're getting to know God, you, you, you have that desire always to get more and more of Him. So you're not going to miss any area that's going to lead you closer to Him. So this is how I have it listed. And, um, of course, the final um, chapter is, of course, you know, know that you have developed yourself spiritually on becoming a spiritual person, a holy person, because God is holy. He wants us to be holy if we want to serve him. And the last part of my book, the last chapter, will be, of course, now we're going into service and how you have to move through that. But prior to being able to serve, there were the different chapters that's leading to that. Mm. It's almost, um, it's pretty close to completion again. Amen. Thing with, thing with, with Aud Audrey Dorset, she is the author of the book, Starting My Day With Him. Uh, Audrey, before we get to the final segment of our show, uh, we have just a, a minute or two I'd like to allow you the opportunity one more time to let folks uh, know how they can obtain a, a copy of your book, Starting My Day With Him, one more time. Okay. You can go to my website, which is ayurdua.com, A-Y-E-R-D-U-A, ayurdua.com, www.ayurdua.com. My book is on there. That's my website. You can go on eBay. You can get it on Amazon.com. You can get it on BandsandNobles.com. And you can also get it from the publisher, which is Exlibras.com. And the book is $15.99 for the book. It's a very small book, and it's about 60 pages, very small, 60 pages. So you can get that, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope whoever buys the book will be blessed by it, and because that's my purpose, and will come to know the Lord as much as He wants to know us. Mm. 
Uh, Audrey, of course, the, the number one reason we, we do this program week in and week out is to give people that do not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior an opportunity to do so. And would you be willing to lead us in a word of prayer to uh, give those people that the Lord has been knocking on the door and give them a chance for him to come through? Would you lead us in a word of prayer? Most loving and merciful Father, Father, I just want to thank you for this day. I thank you so much, O oh Lord, for sending your only begotten Son to die on the cross that I can have eternal life. Father God, I thank you and I praise you. I love you, I worship you, and I adore you. Feel also, Father God, with your Holy Spirit, dear Lord. Dear God, I thank you, Lord, for this ministry. Lord, I pray that all those who are hearing this ministry, uh, who are under the, the umbrella of this ministry, will hear your word and serve your word. Because, Lord, you are a loving God. You are a merciful God. Lord, you are so wonderful to us. We thank you and we praise you. We give you all the glory. Please accept it, Father. In the name of your Son, I pray. Amen. Our guest on Second Chances has been Audrey Dorsett, the author of the book, Starting My Day With Him. And, uh, Audrey, we wish the best uh, to you and, and your uh, ministry, Zane Ministries. And we also want to give you an open invitation to come back and join us. Once you get your second book out, you can come back and, and share that with us. Would you do so? Yes, I will. Okay. We'll be happy to do that. And we'll be blessed to have you back as a guest once again. Tune in next week Thank for more you second. Much, Thank you so much, Audrey. Tune in next week for Thank more second chances right here at Lift FM 98.5, 103.3 FM, and 97.9 on your FM radio dial. And remember, a complete inventory of most of every one of our shows of second chances is available at Advantage Radio Ministries.org. Click on second chances, and there you can choose the guest. Of your liking, tonight's guest has been Audrey Dorsett, the author of the book, Starting My Day With Him. Great advice, too. We'll see you next week for more Second Chances right here at Lift FM.